I'm gonna translate this video because I like this video because it is um, A Promises Never Fulfill by Fidel Castro and um, this is just some of the some of his quotes from the beginning of the revolution and today um, we Cubans can tell you he did not fulfill almost all of them here we go bear with me here okay I'm gonna translate sometimes it's hard for me to find the words but I have my Google Translate here to help me find the words I can't remember here we go. A Promises Not Fulfill, Never Fulfill by Fidel Castro. He's a liar. He's a liar. Okay. Number one, I am very secure that in a um, few years we will elevate the standard of life of the Cuban people and it's going to be superior to the one of the United States and Russia. Fidel Castro said this um, February 16, 1959. Number two, there, there's going to be liberty for all who speak in favor and against us and and whoever wants to criticize us like he's talking about like liberty freedom of, of speech bull crap this was said by Fidel Castro on January 1st 1959 in Santiago de Cuba Number three, I am not interested in the power. <laughs> this one's funny. Uh, I do not am ambition. We will restore all of the rights and liberties, including the absolute liberty of the press. He controls the press in Cuba. He controls everything, you know. This was in Santiago de Cuba on January 3rd, 1959. Come on. Okay, number four. We have a free country. We don't have cens uh, censor. And the um, citizens can... Um, assembly freely we were never gonna use force and the day the 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 Cubans do not want me I will go this was said by Fidel Castro in La Havana on January 9 1959 it's been a long time since we don't want this guy there he doesn't he just don't want to give up the power and the people do not uh, there is no elections for the president in Cuba the, the the citizens they do not vote for the president I would try to make a video about how the elections are in Cuba but the citizens do not vote for the president okay number five Come on. Okay, number five. When you suppress a right, it's going to end up suppressing all of the other ones, all of the other rights. And there's going to be, there's not going to be democracy. The ideas are defended with reason, not with guns. I am a lover of the democracy. 
he did this press declaration in Havana, January 7, 1959. In Cuba, there is no democracy. It has never been democracy under Fidel Castro. He's a liar. Okay, let me see if I can. Um, wait. Okay, okay. The ones. Let me see, wait. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do this. Whatever. The ones that talk about democracy, they should start to know that it consists in the respect of all the ideas and all the beliefs. And that consists the liberty and the rights of all the other people. We would not persecute anybody. If we persecute a newspaper and we close it down, oh, when you start to close in, let me see. When you start to, clo to close a newspaper nobody can feel secure anymore I mean a newspaper when a man is start to being followed for his beliefs his political beliefs nobody will be able to feel secure When restriction are start to be made, no rights can feel secure. Well, that's what is happening in Cuba. There's no rights. There's no freedom of speech. There, you know, they persecute people. They kill our um, the opposition leaders in very strange uh, same circumstances, and. All these things he's talking about, imagine is the contrary. This is what Cubans have been dealing with for so many years, 55, in fact. Number seven, there is no, there, no se consigue un país libre cuya economía es extranjero. A country is not free if the economy is uh, from foreigners and 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 this one is one of the biggest lies because the economy in Cuba depends on foreigners um, always <laughs> February 24th 1960 And number A and last, it says, we have said that we will convert Cuba in the, into the most prosperous country of the Americas. We have said the Cuban people will um, reach a uh, level of life higher um, than any any other country in the world. Havana, March 13, 1959. He said that Cuba is going to be the 
the best country in the world. Well, I don't know if you know, but right now Cuba is a third world country. And and these people, they don't want to um, get let the power go. Now, you know, it's it's... It's so crazy. When Fidel got sick, he couldn't be, um, he couldn't be, in, you know, in the presidency or whatever. He's, they are dictators, but when he couldn't handle that anymore because he's really old, he just gave the power to his brother. And now, uh, Fidel Castro's uh, son, Antonio Castro, um, the other day he went to Venezuela. You know that they, they have this. Um, very important positions in 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 the government. The daughter of Raúl Castro, the press the present dictator of Cuba, she is also you know there are like ambassadors of Cuba. They go around uh, spreading propaganda and lies about how perfect Cuba is and how how everything is so perfect in Cuba. You know, a bunch of lies, and I I talk because I have knowledge of how bad that place is because I was born and raised there. I came here when I was uh, 15 years old, and I have been uh, back to Cuba um, um, like three or four times, and I've seen it firsthand. And, and and when you go there and you sp you you speak to to the to the citizens and you walk around the city you s you can see what a piece of crap they have over there and 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 you know don't come telling me oh because of the blockage or the embargo they have inside of Cuba the government has more um, they 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 have more blockage to their citizens they. You know they 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 do not want to give the citizens opportunity of anything. You know they their voice of the citizens is not they don't care. They live like millionaires.